pleasure for me to welcome you here today for the third edition of the EMCDDA Scientific Paper Award. The importance of scientific publishing is really one of the foundations of excellence that we all try to reach. This year we received 37 eligible nominations and they were assessed and judged finally on the criteria of scientific originality, scientific quality, clarity and quality of writing and EU relevance. I would like to, to start by congratulating the winners of this 2013 edition of the MCDDA Scientific Paper Award. The work of the MCDDA builds on research performed and published by the scientific community, which in a certain way you represent here tonight. I would like to start this evening with the first winner, Sophia Schneider. It's about risk-taking in the adolescence and also about the adolescent reward system and a potential common link to substance abuse. of population-based and epidemiology research. The award is given to a paper by Nut Killen with his um, colleagues. This study is a cohort study from subjects um, admitted to, to drug abuse treatment, uh, resident treatment in the, at the time, the, no, the Central Norwegian Institute for, for Institution for Such Treatment from uh, 1970 to 1984. Find out if they had... Third area, demand reduction research. Dagmar Hedrich, who got this uh, award. The review is on the effectiveness of opioid maintenance treatment in prison settings. The main finding is that this type of treatment is as effective in prisons as it is in the community. The research field is policy supply and crime research, and the winner is Rudolf Rosenauer, Center for Physiology and Pharmacology of the Institute of Pharmacology at the Medical University of Vienna. It's a relevant paper to the risk assessment area, particularly. It's on a new methodology to identify uh, unknown drugs of unknown context. 